And when you find out as a woman that your husband has got another, gotten another woman pregnant, yes. bought her a house two doors down from yours, took oh, your money, oh. bought her a car. Yeah. Oh. You just sat up here now, you leaving me, all of this stuff, and the public finds out, <laughs> nigga, I would have a breakdown. Bruh, So I, I'm curious on your thoughts. Um, you're in the same world of uh, Wendy Williams. Oh, and yeah. you see a situation where, of course, what she goes through as far as just what she's done for so many years. And you do the same thing. You wake up at a, such a time and you're, you, like you said, the weight of the world of all these stations and being nationally syndicated. Um, do you understand as far as what she's going through, possibly as far as what the normal person may not see what someone deals with and have to kind of cope with just not only the celebrity lifestyle, but just... Okay. That work schedule. All right, here, here I'm going to talk on Wendy Williams. And here's what I think about Wendy, and I've said this on the air. Uh, I used to work with Wendy in New York on WBLS. Oh, <clears> she so. did afternoons. I was on in the morning with the co as the co-host. Even though we were based in Dallas, I would go to New York two weeks out of the month. Mm. And I'll never get one time I go there, and um, there was some big con. Something was going on in our listening party. And Wendy was in her car waiting. They had a car service or whatever. And I say, hey, girl, you know, I'm walking into the building. She's sitting in the car. I say, girl, you going to go to the, to the after party? She's like, no. She said, I got a son. I'm going home. I don't do that. I'm sending interns. I said, okay. She's like, I ain't going to do that. I'm going home. I'm going to watch my TV. You know, she was regular ass, mama, wife, whatever. Yep. Um, what I see with Wendy now, and I'm sad, saddened by, is I keep saying this, number one, America and everybody got to stop with this whole mental health and that they care about mental health. Because we're witnessing her, Kanye, everybody having these breakdowns and ain't nobody reaching out to help. We laughing or we turning our backs. Wendy Williams to me, I told somebody, any woman, and I want you to pay attention to this because I, I, something similar, to, not similar, but if it happened to me on this of a scale, I could only imagine Wendy. Wendy Williams, and I hate when people also say karma coming back on. I think that's real yeah, nasty. That's, that's nasty to me for somebody to even say that. But anyway, Wendy Williams, is um, on the TV, her husband's her manager, gets her all the way there, and when you find out as a woman that your husband has got another, gotten another woman pregnant, yes. bought her a house two doors down from yours, took your money, uh, bought her a car, yeah. right? Bought her a car. Yeah. Uh, yeah he went you just sat up here now, you leaving me, all of this stuff, and the public finds out. Yeah. It's it, hold on a second. I almost said <laughs> Nigga, I would have a breakdown right, it's, that the whole world is watching my entire life fall apart right. and my man is cheating and taking my money and buying cars and houses for a chick who's living behind me right. and everybody knows, everybody's laughing and this and that, I'd have a mental breakdown. I think that girl had a mental breakdown and ain't nobody trying to save her. Yeah, especially when your job is dishing out that type of news about the other celebrities. And, and ain't nobody trying to... It comes at you and it's like, yeah, who do I go to when... That's so any woman, any woman would have a, we gonna have a breakdown when the world ain't watching, when we find out our man then bought a car, a house, had a baby. That's With what, our money, we gonna break down without the world watching. Now the world's correct. watching. And that's what makes her story so sad. Which, so how do you conduct your personal business? You being a face of the radio, you being out here in the streets, you being for the streets. Let me tell you what I do, if girl. If that happened to you. I threaten the shit out of my husband every day. Nigga, if you do <laughs> anything like, no, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs>